Okay, today we're going to be solving a, a double integral problem here. You know, it's f fairly basic, you know, just just polynomials here. No no cosines or trigs. Cosine, trig, we're not doing the gamma, gamma function here. So, this is equivalent to... You see that? Zero, five. My fives are kind of rough. Kind of falling into there. Um, do, 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 do. Okay, this is this is equivalent to uh, this. <coughs> this is equivalent to this. You know, I'm just clarifying measure. So let's solve this here. This integral here. See that? Okay. Do -do. Okay, we're doing with respects to x. So just remember that. So we treat y as a constant. Okay. So let's just solve the integral here. So you know, with 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 things to exponents here, you always know it's to the n. Then for the integral, x to the n plus one over n plus one. So just apply that here. Of course, you probably know that. Okay, two times two times y. And remember, trig y is constant. So y squared here is a constant. So and remember, when you have a constant, the integral of that is like Say a three the integral of that is can you see that on there? Uh three x what? S. Um right, so that y squared is gonna be y squared x. Okay, see that whole thing here. Um so of course, you know, I, I sometimes put this you know, this is of course x squared, so x squared y, so just just bear with me because I, I always include those kind of things. Okay, so now we're going to be evaluating that at 3. 3 here. Okay, so uh, we're going to be evaluating. Okay, at 3, so let's get it at 3. 3 cubed over 3 plus 3 squared times y plus y squared times 3. Okay, so that's um, <clears throat> 27 over 3 9 plus 9y plus 3y squared. Okay, now I need to evaluate at 1. Okay, that's 1 cubed over 3 plus 1 squared times y plus y squared times 1. Okay, so, of course, it's all simple math here. Okay, so squared. Okay, and this is, and now we're going to, and so I evaluated both things, so we're going to use the fundamental theorem of calculus, which is all new if you're watching this. Um, okay, this is x here. X's are always kept in this one. Let's see. Okay, equal to... FB. Okay, and we've done, and we've um, found F. We found this here and this here. <coughs> so, so um, now let's do it. Hey, so I couldn't. Just so you can see. Here, subtract them, of course. Wait, this is my, this is my squared. Okay, so subtracting this is 27 thirds, remember, from earlier. So it's 26 thirds plus 8y, 9y minus y, and 3y three three squared minus y squared, 2y squared. Okay, that's the first part for, for with respects to x. But now, remember, remember our original integral here. We're going to have to do it with respects. Why? So let's do that. Okay, see everything there. So let's so let's uh, find the integral of this here. So 
This is 26 thirds y. Remember the constant rule. This is 8 y squared no, plus uh, 2 y cubed over 3. All right. That's the integral here. Now remember the fundamental theorem calculus. So at, value it at 5. So 26 thirds times 5 plus 8 times 5 squared. Wait, 5 squared over 2. This is, of course, 4y squared plus 2 5 cubed over 3. Okay, we get 26 times 5. That's 2 or That's, uh, let's see, 2 or Okay, that's uh, 130 over 3 um, plus plus 4 times 25, which is um, which is 100. Um, okay, and this is 5, 3. 5 is the cube, so 125. Okay, so... All right, so that's of course one, two times 125 times divided by three, so that's um 100, 250 over three. Pro I'm probably making mistakes wild here. Okay, so so um so let's find the value at zero. So that's 20, 26 thirds times zero plus. 8 plus 4 y squared I'm 0 plus, so all 0 and so we're extracting this minus 0 so let's all get this down to the denominator of 3 okay 3 thirds 1 3 3 divided by 3 okay I'm a little, I'm a little stupid at mental math here. Okay, we get 680 over 3. Okay, this is uh, our value. Um, and thank you for watching. So this is the solution to this integral here. Sorry, I could give more, I could give more explanations, but this is, this is. This is good.